what is up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel please make sure you subscribe so that you get notified every time i post the video now the 14 year old wendy waeni who is a professional gymnast has exposed former manager joe mwangi but then who is joe mwangi i've never met this guy I've, okay i've never seen this guy not necessarily meeting him but anyways i'll have to google and put photo right there anyway she exposed joe mwangi for exploiting and conning her now appearing on JKL Live went when went ahead to explain that Joe Mwangi has been pocketing all her performance money as she never gets not even a single penny despite her touring the world to showcase her talent. Wendy, by the way, who has performed for several African presidents, among them being Uhuru Kenyatta, Yoweri Museven of Uganda, and this guy of uh, Rwanda. How do you call him? This tall guy. Yeah, Kagame also mentioned that her mother still lives in Huruma slums in a single room where she has to sell sweets and cigarettes in order to put foods on the table. Hold up. Okay, let me hold that thought for a second. Okay, this is what she had to say courtesy of JKL Live. Uh, I've been performing all over the world, Jeff. I know you know that. And Right now, I live in Huruma uh, because of Joe Mwangi. Jeff, to be sincere with you, I've been performing all over the world. Like, I've performed in Rwanda, I've performed in Germany, in China, and I've not got even a single penny. My mom is really suffering right now, Jeff, as we talk. I know uh, she's, she's working right now. She sells sweets. I live in Huruma in a single room, Jeff. Wow. This is crazy, you know. I've been following her on Instagram at Wendy Yani, and I saw photos of Ugali, Nyama, Choma, and stuff. So I'm like, Namama Nauza Sigara and some sweets. It's crazy, bro. Or is it a cover up? Now that she's not the one who manages the IG account. I don't know. Only time will tell. Anyways, when Wayne went, I had to say that she had forgiven Joe Mwangi, but requested him to return the password to the Instagram account. Yeah, which I've just talked about because she's not the one who manages it. And by the way, she went ahead and apologized to Jelango as well, whom two years ago, there was an attack on her Instagram page towards Jelango because of debts which she claimed Jelango was owing her. So she came through and said that she was not the one. That was Joe Mwangi. Anyways, this attracted attention of several celebrities and public figures in Kenya, among them being this guy Chris Kirwa, who came through his Instagram page page and posted when Dwayne does not own her Instagram account. It's run by Joe Mwangi who posts things when Dwayne is not aware about. According to Wendy, she has performed all over the world and not a single penny from it. This is very wrong at all levels. But I've tried to follow up with uh, Chris Kiwa and Gwen Wayne account. Yeah, maybe this guy was shocked to realize that he has been uh, joking with Joe Mwangi. Anyways, people reacted differently. Several people went ahead to say Gwen Wayne was coached before she went on the interview on JKL. Only time will tell. Yeah, like you never know where the truth lies. We'll have to wait for Joe Mwangi. Meanwhile, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram, bliske.ke. If by here, when I was editing this video, Joe Mwangi responded. And he basically said that people should save this photo right there on your screen. Maybe it will come to serve its purpose later on. He basically came through and said that Wendy Wayne was coached before the interview. So we'll have to wait and see what's up. I'm going to be back with more news.